Hello, my name is Jeremy Rigneris, and welcome to the Choose SolidWorks screencast series. If you're a designer, chances are you spend a lot of time using a CAD system. Creating your designs in 3D certainly makes you more productive, but you might be surprised to learn that something as simple as the user interface can have a huge impact on your day. The SolidWorks user interface has been refined over the years using feedback from thousands of customers. It helps you to learn faster and streamline your design tasks. You might even say it's the best user interface you've ever used. Let's start off by taking a quick tour of the screen. The first thing you'll notice is the very large graphics area. The user interface is designed to keep you focused on the model or drawing as much as possible. The main areas are the command manager across the top, the feature and property manager down the left, and the optional task pane hidden away on the right. The command manager groups together all the common commands for a particular task, such as those for sketching, modeling, or drawing, with nice big text descriptions, so finding a command is quick and easy. Additional tabs may be added or removed, or completely customized for a particular task to suit your needs. Also, any icons, typically view manipulation commands, can be added to the screen area for quick access. Once you're familiar with the icons, you can use the shortcut toolbar. This totally customizable icon palette pops up by the cursor, activated by pressing the S key on the keyboard, or if you've got a mouse with more than three buttons, you can assign it to one of those. So with hardly any mouse movement, you can access the circle command and start sketching. You don't have to be very accurate with your sketching either, as SolidWorks helps you to add design intent. Using the shortcut bar, you can add a center line, which snaps automatically to the centers of the circles. The property manager on the left shows you everything you need to know about the line, and the number of ways that you can control the behavior of the line has been filtered to only show what makes sense. It even suggests the most logical next step, like making it horizontal. That sounds like a great idea. Now, if you select the line in the origin, you get a 